Hello Julio from Fortress Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO and I'm going to show you three ways that you can improve your website and actually beat some of your competitors online. All right, and at the end of the video, Julio, you know, if you want to hear more information, we could just set up a five, 10 minute phone call. If not, then you can actually take all the tips, strategies I'm going to give you in the video and you can apply them actually directly to your site. So the three things we'll talk about today are content, citations, and backlinks. So we're going to start by looking at your page and I want to see um, you guys have some nice headers up here with some nice projects it looks like you've done. You've got all of your services listed here. You guys do have some collect, um, some content on here which is good. You know the, the, your site looks nice but this is what Google cares about the most all of your content. So here's what we're going to do. Let's see how much content you guys do have on your site. So let's see let's just clear that. All right, so right now you guys have 341 words of content on your homepage. Now Google's really looking to see about 1500. And if you have that much content on your site, then they're going to rank your site a lot higher. I also want to show you Chattanooga Roofing. And the reason why, if we do a search for Roofing Chattanooga TN here, once we get past the map section, we're going to get to the organic section. Better Business Bureau is number one. Number two is Chattanooga Roofing Company. So the first actual company because Better Business Bureau is just a directory. So let's take a quick look at their site. We're going to see they don't have 1,500 words of content either on their page. So let's see how much they have here. Let's see. All right, and if we put them in here, let's see, what do they have? And they actually have 1,100 words. They have close to the 15, but they're still not there. So there's still room to catch them. And that's one way that you could get ahead of them would be to get more content. Ideally, if we beat them in all three of the topics we're going to talk about today, you'll pass them in the rankings as well. So the first thing is content, but you don't just want content. You also want to make sure that you have keywords in that content. So I just put in roofing Chattanooga TN here for my example for a keyword. And keywords are just phrases or words that people search um, specifically. They're the most common one searched that bring people in because they're looking for it and they're looking for services in an area. So roofing Chattanooga TN is a good one. And um, you want to make sure this is also on your site because this is what's going to bring in the visitors for you. And the other thing is we want to make sure that your site, you know, that Google trusts your site. And the way to do that is if we look at, I took your website, fortressroofingllc.com, put it into a program called Arifs. This just see, shows me how your site's performing. I see you guys have your headers here, which is good on your page. And then if we look at the backlinks and referring domains, so right now you guys have four referring domains or websites pointing back to yours, and you have eight links on those four referring domains. So these referring domains also work as that these sites vouching for you. So right now there's four sites pointing back at you. And of the four, we can see one of them is actually a strong site. So three of these aren't that strong, but one of these is pretty good. And it's giving you a trust with Google right now of 10, which is the UR number. The higher this goes, the more keywords you'll be able to be found for. Right now, you guys are showing up for one keyword, and unfortunately, you guys aren't ranking high enough to bring in a visitor from it. So what I want to do is I'm going to hop over to Chattanooga Roofing Company. Same thing, if we look at their backlinks and referring domains, they have 51 referring domains with 302 links on those referring domains. Another way to think of this, um, and I should have used this example on yours, is a Facebook business page. So if you guys have a Facebook business page, then the referring domain would be your Facebook business page and the link on it with your web address, that would be your backlink. So when you click on the link, it's going to redirect you back to your site. With 51 sites pointing back at their site, we can see 33 of the 51 are strong. It's going to give them a UR or trust of 23 with Google. They're going to trust them a little more because the sites are stronger pointing back to them. They're going to be found for about 510 keywords and searches, and they're bringing in 390 visitors to their site per month. So ideally you want to beat them and you think, oh, that's such, that's such big numbers. How are we going to beat them, right? Four compared to 51, eight compared to 302. Well, I'll tell you what, we can actually click on their referring domains and we can go see all the ones they have and we can get the same ones as them. So all we have to do is go into the website, find out how they got it, right? A lot of times you just have to register your name and then we have to get the same thing. And if it's one that we can't get, we just find one that has equal power and we're going to get one that's going to basically equal them. And then ideally what we want to do is want to add theirs and then we want to add more to beat them. 
All right, so if you do that, if you have add enough content, 15 to 200, 15, 1,500 to 2,000 words, add your keywords in, and go ahead and um, also get your backlinks in there and referring domains, you're going to beat them in the rankings. And we can see a directory's tops here, and that's a good thing because directories are easier to beat. Now, the other way, the other things we want to beat them in, right? So you could try to go for ads. We see they don't have any ads right now. So if you wanted to outbid these ones, you could be one of the top ones up here. And you'd have to pay more, but you'd be the one of the top results and you'd get some clicks from there and visitors. The other option is the Google map section. So top three are going to show up here um, on this preview window. The rest you could view all to see, but these top three are going to get a lot of attention. They're going to get a lot of direct calls with the phone numbers here. And they're also going to be people going to the websites. And the way to get these citations is just to get your business name, address, phone number, put anywhere on the internet, really anywhere there's another website, right? So these are sites like Home Advisor, Yellow Pages, Yelp, Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn. All those are directories. As long as you have your business name, address, and phone number entered into those sites, they're going to point back to you and, and help you with citations. And the more you have and the stronger they are, you're going to get in this area. So if these guys have like 30, for instance, you want to have like 130 just to beat them and so that they can't catch you. All right, so just to sum up, we talked about content. You want 1,500 words to 2,000 words on your homepage. You want to make sure you have your keywords in, in those as well. You want to make sure that you have your backlinks and referring domains, that you have more than your competitors. So we can see that our competitor has 51 referring domains and 302 backlinks. And then you want to make sure you get your citation so that you can beat your competitors in the map section or the GMB. All right, guys. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. Now, I would love it if you guys would actually provide a little feedback and just let me know if it was helpful. Um, and I will follow up with you guys just to ask what you thought of it. I want to make sure that these are helping businesses. Thank you for your time and have a great day.